Good morning, everyone. How are we all? I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, we are back with this dresser today, doing some prep this morning. And then uh, this afternoon, I'm here all day today until 4 o'clock. So this afternoon, I'm hoping, well, today, I'm hoping to get this like 90% there, 75% there, 90% is probably stretching it. That's 75% there. So we're going to be cleaning this right now. I figured I'm doing this anyway. So you guys can join me. Um, we're going to clean it. We're going to fill some holes and do that now. And then in an hour or two, we'll come back once our fill is dry. It dries really fast. Um, we're going to come back and do our undercoat, our primer. And then about an hour-ish after that, we're going to come in with our color. What color? I don't know. Uh, if you have a suggestion, pop it in the comments. I need this to sell so I can't get too crazy, but I don't know. I know I know that it will sell in white really quickly and for a good price, but white is boring and I don't want to do boring. I'm really, really bored at the moment. Um, I've got the, this and I've got a set of bedsides coming in tomorrow um, that are a commission, but I think they're going to be like a dark grey or a black. But I'm bored and I'm itching to do something fun, but I know this won't sell if I do something crazy with it. So white, black, maybe inkwell or raven, which are like our dark navies, maybe. Otherwise, I think it would have to be like acacia, myrtle or vineyard. That's our choices. If you have an opinion, let us know. As always, um, Jump back on. Our last live was Friday. It was split into two parts because I got interrupted. Um, we were literally just looking at the runners of this set. Um, I walked away Friday afternoon ready to burn this piece. I was done. Um, it was just I put new runners on it um, or the set that I had. So I put a new set on it and the same issue was still there where the drawers just weren't moving. And if you go back and have a quick scroll through that video, you'll see um, they were just, they were not working the way they're meant to be. Um, drawers are meant to be quite smooth and it just wasn't happening. Um, and I put new runners on. We had the same issue, which obviously is not, not ideal. While I'm talking, let's do some cleaning. Um, I've just boiled myself a kettle of water because I don't have hot water here in the shed. So boiled water, don't burn yourself. I've got some cold water to dip into it. Um, and a bucket today, we have got the base out of a rice cooker because uh, my husband has stolen my bucket. So I stole something off his metal pile <laughs> and I had nothing else. <laughs> so we're just doing hot soapy water. Um, I've just got... A bottle of some cold water as well, just because I don't want to burn myself. A bit hot still. I think we'll just tip all that in. I might even need to go grab another one. The kettle's just boiled. Um, normally I give it a little bit longer, but... Oh, yes, lovely. So as long as you can stand your water, don't burn yourself. Um, and then we're just using Purico's Lemon Myrtle Cleaner. Uh, it's about... I can see the price tag. It's $15. And I'm out of stock, but there's more arriving. I think it's coming tomorrow. So lemon myrtle cleaner, just a couple of dollops of that. Oop, it's a bit cold this morning. We'll do a couple. Um, you can use whatever cleaner you like. Just keep in mind some do leave a residue, and that residue can impact your paint. So if your cleaner leaves a residue, you do need to wipe it down again. Um, the lemon myrtle cleaner doesn't leave a residue. It's absolutely beautiful. smells amazing. Um, it's quite... It's a gentle cleaner in regards to chemical wise and it's not going to hurt your skin, etc. But it's really, really good at getting all the dirt and grime off. Um, another option for you is dish detergent. If you've got a really, really grimy piece, dish detergent is fantastic um, because it's designed to cut through dirt and grease and grime from your dishes. So it's really, really good. Um, I highly rate the really cheap Aldi one, I think it's like $1.50, $2 now for a big bottle. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Um, but today we're using this. For our sponge, because my husband's also stolen my sponge, we have got a um, Purico 
that was embarrassing. I forgot their name. <laughs> um, a Pierico uh, sanding sponge. So this is an 80 grit. This is a great way. We're going to scruff sand this anyway, but it's a nice little cheat to have if you use something like this to do your cleaning as well. You're sort of also doing a little bit of your scruff sanding. A little bit. Not enough, but a little bit. Um, anyway, so Friday, I'm just going to talk while I'm tell you my Friday chronicles. Friday I walked away. I finished that live. I helped the customer. I came back to this for like another hour. And they and I put new runners on. And it just was not working. This has got some candle wax or something on it, so I'm just making sure I get all that off as well. Um, and it just it had the same issue where it was like it was like it was catching, but the runners were brand new, they were fine. Um, so I stuck a camera in there and filmed the drawer going in and out, trying to work out where it was catching, what it was catching on. I finally worked out it was the screws holding the runners on. Um, I've never had that issue before. Maybe I've just been lucky, but every single screw that was holding the runners onto the piece, so you've got the runner piece that's on the drawers. Hang on, let me open one and show you for those who aren't familiar. I think most people are, but in case you're not. So we've got, let me turn you. So you've got this piece here. And then there's a piece inside the cabinet as well. The piece inside the cabinet had screws and and the, hang on, I can actually show you. Where's my other one? This one. So this sits inside the cabinet. This is what's inside. So this is at the front, the wheel's at the front. These holes are different sizes. And the screws, and I'm assuming it's just from manufacturing, so it's always been a bit dodgy, um, all the screws were like sitting, not sitting in the hole correctly. Hang on, I had some screws here. Let me show you. They, oh, actually, these are the screws, these little tiny black screws. They're all in there, but they're like all on an angle, so it's catching on the screws. And that's why a couple of the drawers were like fairly fine, but a couple of them were so rough and it wasn't working. So because it goes, it has to run past them. It's stupid design, but it is what it is. So... This morning, I have undone every single runner and I have put all new screws and I have made sure every single one of them is flush. So these are all like they've got, I don't think the camera can, I don't think you can see it. It's got like a little concave. So the head of the screw sits perfectly and I've gone along and every single screw is perfect. Um, it's taken me, I've been here for an hour. It's taken me the best part of an hour. Um, I was a little bit late in today because we had a meeting, but it's taken me the best part of an hour. Every single screw on this dresser is perfect, if I do say so myself. Um, drove me nuts, but they are all in there. And all of our drawers, I've taken most of the handles off already. They're all beautiful. They slide. They're just perfection. Perfection. They're still, and it's the style of runner, they still feel a little bit rough. I have done some wax on them, but they're not catching and they are functioning as they should be. Um, so just, I think it was just poor, like as I said in the last one, the last video, this is a very cheaply manufactured piece. There is nothing high end about this. Um, and I think it was just, I think it's always been like this. Um, they certainly, like the screws didn't look like they'd been played with much. Normally if a screw's been undone a lot, you can sort of tell. Um, but I don't think this one was. I think it was just very poorly done right from the word go. Which is fine, it happens, but it's so frustrating. But it's now all beautiful and perfect. It's taken me way too long, but we finally got there. So it's got the original runners still on it. They're still black. They all match, which is nice. Um, the problem is you can't just buy the black runners like from Bunnings and that. You can buy them online, but I didn't want to wait that long. Um, so you can't, you can't just get the black runners really easily, which obviously when I've got 
I'm going to take these handles off. Um, I didn't want them mismatched either, so I would have been up for a full set of new runners because you can only buy the white, and I didn't want white and black because that just looks weird. Um, I wanted them to all match and look nice. I'm just making sure I get along the edges as well because some of these have got... It's just had like a candle or something spilt down the front of it, I think. I got most of it off already um, the other day when I first brought it in. But I just want to make sure that we get most of it. So I'm just use a scouring sponge of some description, but a sandpaper sponge like this is great. These are fully washable, these ones. So if I start to get a bit clogged up, give it a clean. And then away you go. I'm going to take these couple of handles off. Handles are really, most of the time, very easily. I did um, discuss on Friday, um, hang on, I've got tea towels now. I don't need to wipe my hands on my pants. I went and brought a bulk pack of tea towels. They're like five bucks. Um, I got them from Target. I hate that Target's now got just Kmart stuff. I used to really like Target because it had good quality stuff, but now it's just Kmart. Although these tea towels aren't too bad. But I now have tea towels in here because I was sick of not having any. Every time I went looking for one, I didn't have one. Um, I was, so on Friday we were discussing um, the price and then what I put into it versus what I can get out of it. Uh, so I paid $90 for this piece. On Friday, obviously, we were looking at potentially all new runners which was going to bring our total up to around, I think it was like $130, $140. Um, but obviously I don't now have to do runners. So I'm like, great, I don't have to do runners, maybe I'll do new handles. These handles are great, they are really nice, but this is quite a big, chunky piece. Like these drawers, are, I think they're 600. They're quite big and these handles do feel quite small. But when I started taking them off today, the holes... Like, I can fit my finger in there. These holes are massive. And even if I do absolute perfect filler, you're always going to see a little bit of that hole. And I just, I don't like that look. So we're just going to keep the handle. So we're back to sitting around that $90. Obviously, I've had new screws, which are, I don't know, maybe 50 cents, if that. Um, and then our cleaning product, etc. So these are all little things. But when I'm doing my flips, I don't like break it down and say, oh, I've only used 10 mil of that, so it's only this much. Um, I don't do it to that extent. If you want to, absolutely go for it. Um, but like things like the cleaning products and that, it's pretty pretty negligible, like it's 50 cents here and there. Um, so I just round it up and I'll say like I spent $20 in supplies on a piece. Um, so yes, I was, yeah, I was thinking about new handles. But these holes are massive, so I've decided the same old handles are going on it. They're in really good condition. They are beautiful handles. I do like them. Um, they are just... They are just, um, they're just... I feel like they're a little bit small for the drawers, but I think I'll be fine. Um, I've seen similar dresses before with this size. I just think like, like a big chunky handle would have really suited this, but they just feel like they're quite... They're like the size of your hand. They're quite small. But they're beautiful. They're in good condition. Um, when you're taking... Oh, don't do that. When you're taking off handles, oh, make sure that you um, pop the screws, screw it back into the handle if you can, or put them all together. Um, if you are going to change out the handles on a piece, sometimes it's handy to hold on to that screw um, and then use the same screws onto your new handles if they fit in the new handles. Um, it just, it will save you so much headache later on. I, uh, I love what I do, but I hate hardware and I hate things like runners and hinges and all that sort of thing. It just, it takes so much time, it takes more time than what you think it's going to take and it's just, it frustrates me. <laughs> so I am short, so I can only just see this one, so I'm glad I took the top one off already. Um, I got my, oh, and don't throw away your handles either like I just did. Where'd the other bit go? Where's one? Where'd the other bit? There. Um, I got my husband to help me put this up on the table today. 
I like did my measuring first to make sure it wasn't going to be too tall for me, but it's just right. So thank God it can be up on the table because we've got to paint it. And leaning over and painting like that, like I was the other day, is just it's not comfortable. So if you can put it up high, I'd do that. I've got a little coffee table. It's, it's a bit too big for it, but I've got a little coffee table here as well that I put pieces on now. Uh, and it's like the perfect height. All right, we're looking pretty good. I want to take this bottom drawer out because I've got some wax just there that I can see. I'm just going to grab that handle so we don't lose it. Oh. So we're just giving it a quick clean and then we're going to grab our filler. And this piece is one of those ones where they've done like a, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a faux aged look. It's all brand new timber, but they've gone along with like a chain and whacked into it and nails and it's got all these little tiny holes. And I'm not going to get rid of every single one of them. Normally I don't get rid of many at all, um, but I just want to fill some of them. It's, there's just a few too many for me. And we're going to be using Pure Eco Silk Finish. I want this piece to be quick and easy. I've got a commission coming in tomorrow. Quick and easy is the aim of the game. I want this done, pretty much done today, is my, is my goal. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm child free. My husband is not annoying me, so we'll see how we go. So I'm just giving this... A good clean. Then we're going to do our filler. I'm going to let the filler dry. It doesn't take long to dry at all. We're going to let the filler dry. I have not sanded the very top yet. Um, I'm going to... I'm just going to clean this out. I'm not going to move the camera again. Um, I'm going to get it all painted and then I'll sand the top afterwards. Uh, this commission tomorrow also needs sanding. So, And I like to do all my sanding in one go rather than do one bit here and one bit there. Just because it's dusty and it's dirty and it's just easier um, to try and get it all done in one go if I can. All right, that's looking really, really good. So where'd my tea towel go? We're going to grab our filler. Now, I've been trying heaps of different fillers lately. The one that I loved um, is sort of, I don't know where it's gone. It's just vanished off shelves. So I'm trying out a few different ones at the moment. I've got this. Oops, come back over here a little bit, here to our drawers. I've got this one. It's called Multifill, and it's by Earl's. It's just a little jar. I'm really liking it. Um, it's a really nice formulation. It dries nice and quickly since you're doing the job. And then just a, a real good scraper is what this is good. Palette knife, whatever you've got going on is fine. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to come along. And we've just got a few of these little holes. As I said, I'm not going to fill every single one of them. I just want a few of them filled just because there is, like, it's a, it's a lot. So we're just sort of, you're just going to wipe it over. I'm not being, like, fussy with it or anything like that. If it catches the hole, great. If it doesn't, doesn't matter. <clears throat> I'm not one typically to fill holes like this it's not really something that I do a lot of I typically like to like lit or I also work with a lot of older pieces as well um, unless it's like significant I generally leave it or if the customer asks me to if it's commission um, I typically leave things like this they are part of the piece part of the history but as I said I'm just sort of Wiping it along. If it catches it, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm doing this and then I, I will give this a good scrap sand. Just that way I'm not sanding twice. There's no point in sanding it twice if you don't need to. So really, really simple. Um, I do like, I don't have one here, but I do like like a kitchen spatula as well for doing this. The... um like your silicon cake spatulas that you use when you're cooking. I do really, really like them for doing this as well. they got a bit of a flex to them, and it does make this somewhat easier as well. 
So these are all really like surface level. They're really, really minor. Looking good. I'll come down here on the, oops, sorry. I just kicked the camera. Come down here. You can sort of see, as I'm filling them, you guys can sort of see what we're working with. Um, try to wipe, wipe away as much of your excess as you can as well. You don't want to leave like big chunks on there because you will be sanding forever. Although this one does sand down really, really well. But try not to like leave big chunks of it there because you do, you will make your life that little bit harder when it comes time to sand it off. So as I said, not all of it, just bits and pieces. Anywhere where there's a lot happening, I'm going to put a little bit on this, oops, a little bit on this knot. It's got quite a few, it's a very open one, just a little bit, just so it's not as obvious underneath my paint. I don't care a lot, but it's more just making it look nice and smooth. This is a big piece. There's a lot going on. I do want my paint finish to look really nice. But I'm not like a... I'm not super fussy with things like this. And when you feel as nice and um, nice and light like this as well, it will dry really, really fast. Let's take you over to these other drawers before we do the ends because they're still a little bit wet. So super, super easy. Um, was this a colour one? Hang on. To change colour, mix with multi-fill colour or use colourant. So you can fill this one as well. It's got an indefinite shelf life and it contains no box, which is always a winner as well. So, And I don't think it was very much either. It was definitely one of the cheaper ones available. Um, and I did get this one from Bunnings as well. I do, as I said on Friday, I do recommend Bunnings a lot just because of how accessible it is. I'm not huge on supporting big corporations. I definitely prefer small businesses. So if you've got a small hardware store near you, absolutely support them. But I do recommend Bunnings because it's just, it is really, really accessible these days. <coughs> Most places seem to have them. Even Swan Hill, where I grew up, still has has one now, so it is fairly accessible. Otherwise, a lot of these products you can buy online as well. There's just a few like um little bigger dents around as well. Not too fast. I'm not going to bother with this bit at all. You could use your fingers for this as well, but I'm. I find this just as easy. Like so. And it doesn't matter if we scratch it up either because we are painting over as well. Your metal scraper might scratch your surface a little bit. So just keep that in mind. But we're painting, so it doesn't matter. Just wipe some of that excess off there. And that big chunk there. Yep. No big chunks left behind on here. <laughs> Better. This drawer's got like a couple just here and that, that's it. It's nice when there's hanging a couple little bits. So this isn't anything exciting. It's just something that I like to show. I like to show this sort of basic stuff for you guys. Um, the feedback I've been getting is that you guys are getting a lot out of this as well. Um... And I was talking to someone the other day, and I'm like, oh, this is super easy. You can do it. And she's like, no, I couldn't. Um, and I don't always realize that it's not. Yes, it's easy, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but not everyone has the experience that I have either. So it is nice to show you guys this really basic stuff that will make a difference in your finishing and will help you achieve the looks that you're after as well. I still don't know what colour to do this. I think I'm going to use, I think I need to pull out my jars, my open jars. I don't think I want to open a new one. We're going to use a colour that I've already got open. If I've got enough in that jar, I think it's going to be that colour. 
But if you have a suggestion, let me know. I really don't want to do white, but I do know I've got a jar of cloud. I think I've got a jar of cotton there as well, actually. Um, the cloud, I accidentally dropped it the other day off my shelf when I was doing inventory and smashed the lid. So I've now got a jar of cloud to use myself. But I'm not sure if that's what I want to use. So that's a white. Where are we? I just want to make sure I get these couples down here because they're quite big. Looking good. Um, you can do this after you've primed as well if you want to. Um, if you've done your primer and then you realise there's like a lot more damage or um, a lot more of this than what you originally thought there was, you can you can do this afterwards as well. So it doesn't have to be like, oh, hang on, I better move that before I put water everywhere. Um, you don't have to necessarily do this first. It does save you some time though. I know there's plenty that like to get like that first coat of primer on because it does help make a lot of these things a lot more visible and then go through afterwards and do it. I've just got a, my scraper's too big. <laughs> it doesn't fit in my little tiny jar. I'm pretty sure this came in like bigger jars too. I just got the smallest one first. I wanted to try it. First. So I'm here until 4 o'clock today as well for my locals. If you want to pop in. We do have a Pure Eco restock coming this week as well. I'm pretty sure it should be here tomorrow, I think. I could be wrong. I did get a tracking for something, but it might have been for something else. How are we looking? Pretty good. So I'm not getting all of them. I'm just getting most of them. At the end of the day, it is, it, it's not a major issue. Your paint will also fill a lot of this as well. Um, so I'm not super, I'm, I'm not like, crazy about it it's I'm not fussy about it it's just what it is it's the look of the piece I could always do this and I won't but I could always do it like white and then rub it back and have it really shabby chic which I haven't done in years but that's always an option as well on a piece like this Looking good. Let's go around the, oh my gosh, go around the other end. So you can see it's just really subtle. It's just enough. And these will dry really quick. I'm going to whack the heater on it in a second as well. It's cool today, but it's not freezing, which is nice. Although the other day it was freezing and I put this onto another piece a lot thicker than this in some places and it dried really, really quick. So it does, I don't know if it says a dry time on it though, does it? One to three hours, depending on depth of fill. So it does dry very quickly, but with a heater on it, it will dry even faster. I'll give it a scruff set. I'll, I'll just, um, I don't know. Do I want to do that on camera? Maybe. I'll see how I'm going. But I will definitely, so we're going to finish this up in a second. And I'll be back in an hour or two with our primer. I'm going to go do some other things. I need to do something else other than just this today. <laughs> I've got a few things on my list. So I'm going to go do some other things and then we'll come back to this and we'll put our coat of primer on. We're going to be using Pure Eco Basin Blocker. Uh, probably in the colour grey because I think that's the colour that I've still got here. Although I think that might be almost empty, so I might have to go and find my white. Um, but we'll see how we go. That looks pretty good. I'm really happy with that. As I said, it's not every single piece. It's just most of them.
It was just a few too many. A couple's fine, but not the extent that was on here, although I've had ones that had a lot more than this. Um, this was pretty pretty easy going compared to some that I've had. All right, so we're going to leave this. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to whack the heater on it just to help it dry that little bit faster. I'm going to scruff sand. I might even just grab out my electric sander just to make my life easy because I don't. I've got a lot to do and not enough time today. So we'll let this dry. It won't take long at all. Um, these are really, really, um, what do you call them? Really shallow. Shallow little holes. I'm just going to scrape that excess off there as well. Shallow little holes. So we're going to let it dry. I'll be back in about an hour-ish. What's the time now? 12 o'clock. Yeah, about 1 o'clock, I reckon. I'll be back and we're going to pop our primer on. And then, like our primer, will only probably take half an hour. We're going to decide our colour. Um, and then we are going to, what will that take? That'll be like 2 o'clock. Oh, I'm going to be pushing it. I would really like to get a coat of colour on this today. Maybe. Our primer does dry pretty fast. Um, with the heaters on it, I think we'll be fine as long as the temperature doesn't massively drop, although it's not meant to. Um, so that's my goal. So I'll be back in about an hour for those of you tuning in. Morning, Karina. Um, and we're going to pop our primer on. That's next. So this is just a start to finish, super simple flip but I know you guys have been enjoying these and been getting a lot of like basic information out of them as well. So, and then I know that some of you have gotten the confidence to then go have a go yourself. So that's what we're doing. I will see you in an hour. Goodbye, everyone.